Hey guys, what is up? Awesome the sauce here. Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome to a video that I think absolutely needs to be made because what we're about to see is one of the craziest metas in PvP and honestly one of the craziest updates to Wizard 101 as a whole in a very, very long time. But like with all great updates, there are some things that I think they always overlook. And I thought, you know, we could bring some awareness to this because I feel like I feel like there's a big, big issue with this update. And by big, I mean the biggest ever. I feel like right now, with this update, there might be, in PvP, the biggest paywall ever to some strategies. Now, before we get into this video, I know a lot of people are probably gonna comment, Oh, it's just Kings out being bloodthirsty as usual. Listen, that's... A fine opinion to have if you have it. I honestly don't think that this is actually an intentional thing that's happened, but I do think it's a very bad thing that's happened. So whatever the intentions are with that, uh, about this, I think it's really important to talk about it. So without further ado, let's talk about what I believe is the biggest paywall in PvP right now and how they really, really need to fix this. What am I talking about, right? Right now, there are new Mastery Amulets in Test Realm, and actually, that's the opposite of pay to win. Right now, if you go to the crown shop, you can buy mastery amulets for, I want to say, I don't, I don't even know where you get, where is it? You can buy it for 10,000 crowns and it doesn't even give stats on it. But in test realm with arena tickets, you can get mastery amulets with stats on them, including pip conserve, block, and all the other stats you would normally get on a dragoon amulet. You just get all the stats that you would normally get and then you just have pip conserve added onto it. And though this is a really good change, what this means is that everybody is going to be rewarded for using a mastery amulet. And that, by, 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 in my opinion, by far is one of the greatest things that they've done this update. It's created every an opportunity for every school to become like another school if they really want to. And there's still trade-offs, right? You can't, you can't completely turn into another school. You still are constrained by your health, your pip can serve, your, and your main spells, your shadow spells. But the big, big issue here is that universal damage damage gear has almost always been locked behind a paywall and I feel like the updates leading up to this one has made that really really bad. Now I don't even have all the gear but there's a lot of this right? So back when 130 was maxed there used to be a bundle called the Arcane Builders bundle and it's basically like a turquoise hat except instead of pip chance it gives a ton more damage. We're talking 21 universal damage, way more pierce. Honestly, all you would really be giving up instead of uh, the stats you'd have on the turquoise is just a little bit of HP and some pip chance, and you could honestly get that back other ways. The spooky robe gives universal accuracy, universal resist, and it's by far one of the best universal robes in the game. If you want to go slightly more offensive, while well, you're still looking at a pack robe, but when you're looking at the turquoise eagles raiment, yeah, it gives a lot of resist, a lot of universal pierce, universal damage, that's a really big one. The Forge Master Boots, yet another bundle piece of gear that gives more universal damage, and honestly, for a lot of schools, more damage than you can even get on Dragoon gear. Not to mention the fact that it also gives very good resist. You really don't trade off anything for using this. And finally, the newest reason why there's a gigantic paywall to universal stats. The Arbalaster 3000 gives more pierce for more schools, gives double square slots, universal damage, universal pip conserve. Basically a wand that is going to be made for a meta that uses Mastery Amulet. Now, if you count the Arcane Hat, the best universal damage setup, in my opinion, is approximately worth over $100. Every single piece of gear that I just gave you guys, as an example, is from a different bundle. Now, that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, but we've seen how it can get really, really out of control when there are strategies that cannot be countered when you use bundle gear. I think the best example of this is Dark Nova. It used to be like, oh, you can just do a Dark Nova if you want to. But there was a period of time where if you had enough bundle gear, enough pack gear, maybe a decent pet, I guess that's the one thing you don't have to pay for. Dark Nova became one of the best strategies ever when you had that kind of stuff. I actually had more ranked Dark nova than I ever did just literally mana birds mapping out of balance. Literally, I had more ranked. That's how good it was. Now, there's a very important disclaimer here. You do not need universal damage gear in order to gain rank in Wiz. That's not what's gonna happen. I feel like for the most part, let's say that I'm on a I'm, I'm on a balance and I run maybe a Storm Mastery or something, right? I'm gonna be running a Storm Mastery almost exclusively for the three pip spells that are taught in Ravenwood in Test Realm right now. But I would argue that the best type of Mastery Amulet strategy is gonna be one where you can 
basically perfected the idea of using a second school, and that goes well beyond just a couple of ma a couple of three pip utilities that you're mastering, right? It's gonna go towards actual spells. It's gonna go towards damage. It's gonna go towards creating problems for your opponent that's rooted in both schools that you're using, not just one. But what I'm really scared about is the fact that by paying $120, basically, you could have insanely good stats. Like right now, with honestly not even the best gear, I'm running 61 resist and 114 damage to fire on a balance right now. What's stopping me from using the new fire gin, the, the, the new, the new uh, fire oni, you feel me? What's stopping me from absolutely becoming a fire wizard with balance tools, right? A part of me loves the idea that you can do it, but it's not a good idea if only some people can do it. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, right? Sauce, I mean, there is universal gear. Like, you can look at the Uber gear, you can look at the Dragoon gear. Yeah, I know that it exists, but let's take a deeper look at it and see what paying money uh, does for you when you're trying to run universal. Like, you'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. Let's take a look at the Dragoon universal recipes, which would, which actually would have a chance of being relevant if they weren't complete cheeks, right? Compared to, for example, the spooky robe, right? Yes, you get a little bit of pip chance, you get a little bit of HP, and you get a, a little bit of pierce, but you lose universal accuracy, and you lose six resist, which is kind of gigantic when you're trying to run a setup where you're giving up resist in other places. The Dragoon Boots, you're looking at a 16 damage difference at a universal level. When you compare the Dragoon Universal Sword, 130 levels, by the way, you're losing 6 pierce and 7 damage compared to the $40 bundle one that I showed you guys earlier. The Arc Blaster, the Arbalaster, however you say it. Even if you counter in the Lemuria gear being slight upgrades of the Dragoon gear, you're still missing out on, on dozens of percents in terms of damage and too much resist and health for you to actually viably use it. So with the gear that is offered in Lemuria, Basically, the best that somebody who doesn't want to spend a lot of money can do is run a Mastery Amulet, obviously, but they can only really viably use the three pip spells and use their own Jins, their own Onis, and their own Scion. But if someone pays a lot of money, what they could do is basically not just use their own Onis and Scions and whatnot, they could use the utilities from another school and use the hits from another school and get so many more options. So there might be setups where, you know, certain schools are good enough by themselves where they only need the three pip utilities. But I think that what will end up happening, I'm almost sure of this, is that at least for some schools, paying crowns and for pack gear, paying money for bundle gear, it's almost going to be a surefire bet to getting more rank at a higher percent in PvP. And I really, really don't like that. I think there's a really, really simple solution to this to the point where you can make the bundle gear very, very, you know, viable, but you can also make other gear very accessible. And I think what that requires is going back to their roots. And I was one one used to do this, but they've abandoned this recently. And I think now is a better time to bring this back than literally ever before. You'll notice this if you go to many, many areas, but I'm just going to use uh, the Dragon Spire Academy as, as an example, right? If you go to the recipe vendor here, what you'll notice is that they have a lot of gear that combines schools. So there's a vendor for every school. So this one's a myth vendor. And basically what they used to do back when level 45 was the cap was that they would literally make crafted gear where you could get some, you could get a piece of gear that gives you both accuracy and damage for both schools that you either master and that you train into basically. For example, right? Let's say that I had like a fire mastery on a myth. I would craft this rope. Let's say that I had a balance mastery on a myth. I would craft these boots. Now, obviously level 44 gear is going to be ass, but I think what they should do is keep the universal damage, whatever. Keep it on the Forge Master boots. Keep it on whatever. But make it so that at least you can craft gear that has comparable stats that specify two schools instead of universal. Then you would have a reason to craft and you would have a reason to train another school and you'd have a way of using both schools without spending a ton of money. And the people who did buy these bundles, it's not like they're getting stiffed, right? I mean, they can literally use this on any wizard. They can just transfer it over instead of crafting everything. If you do that, then something like this becomes a convenience, but it doesn't become a necessity when it comes to gaining rank. I think I might take a different approach on this. I think a lot of people would just be like down with the bundles, down with this, down with that. I still want Wiz to succeed. I don't want them to not sell things. That's fine. It's just right now with all the mastery updates, all the new utilities, everything, 
I feel like right now they've put into place a meta where people with the Forge Master Boots, for example, people with the Arbalaster Wand, for example, they're going to have a much, much easier time adapting to a Mastery meta than anybody else. And I just think that's unfair. I think they should put craftable Dragoon level gear that instead of giving one school of damage, gives two schools. That way you can pick and choose. You might have to craft multiple sets if you're trying to use multiple mastery strats, if you're trying to experiment and stuff. It won't be easy to do, but at least you won't have to pay $40 for each piece of gear that's the best for that level and for that strategy. I'm really excited to see what people come up with. I just hope that their creativity isn't completely bound by the fact that they cannot buy the bundle. Some of these are retired bundles. Some of these are just expensive. I mean, I get it. Like, you don't want to pay money just to PvP. That's ridiculous. So I hope that they come up with solutions. Either literally just make alternatives that are not ass. Like, Dragoon Gear right now is ass compared to Bundle Gear. Or at least make alternatives that are worse in some ways, but at least, you know, instead of giving universal damage, they give two schools of damage. That way, that's a fair compromise, so that people that actually can do damage with their second school. Otherwise, you'll see some people really run away with this meta. I want to be wrong on this. I'm sure some- I am wrong about this on some schools. I feel like an ice is just going to hit with ice, probably. But I just feel like if I'm even slightly correct on this, it's just a pay-to-win meta in some ways, and they could avoid this. This update is so good that they really should try to avoid this. That's my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that this is going to be the highest paywall that we've ever seen, or do you guys think that I'm overreacting? Let me know in the comments. I'd actually love to hear y'all's opinions on this. I also want to hear y'all's opinions on the, the two school crafting recipes. They used to exist. They literally don't anymore. I want to see them really get ambitious like that again, because I think it would make metas much more vibrant than they are right now. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave us something for new. And as always, if somebody hasn't told you you're awesome today, they're doing something wrong. So stay awesome. And yeah, y'all.